Hi man, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, yesterday we shared a video here of a man going by the name Julius Kamau, who disrupted a photo session of uh, Professor Jogona Dung, CS for uh, Treasury, when he was about to present uh, the finance bill uh, to the parliament. So there was a photo session at the Treasury building. He went there, he made noise, he disrupted, then later he was arrested. So after the arrest, he was detained at police uh, station. Then later today, uh, he has been arraigned in the court. And uh, he got a chance to address the judge. And he's very clear in his mind that Kenyans are suffering. And therefore, he was protesting, and he is still even protesting in the court that we are being ruled by sick people, liars, thieves, you know, people who do not care about Kenyans. People are dying, but nobody cares. He wants to know the role of government. Is it to serve the people or to kill them with the oppressive taxes like this ones? Those are the issues that he was raising in the court. So definitely he was protesting at the treasury building, but he's still protesting in the court on the same issue, Finance Bill 2024. To be ruled like this, being ruled by sick people, by mad people, by liars and thieves and criminals, these are the people who are in power in Kenya, in Africa. That is the, 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 the situation we are living in. That is the kind of life we are living in. That's why people are dying and nobody cares. People are poor, people are suffering, nobody cares. So I don't know what's the role of the government. I don't know. I want to know today what's the role of the government. To protect the people or to kill the people or to, to make the people suffer. I, I think we have failed our people. The government has failed. Everybody has failed. We have also failed ourselves. I, I don't know. My concerns will not allow me to decide. And at any time, at any time, moment. I don't know whether this is going to come up anywhere, but we must have this debate. We must have, we must have this conversation. We cannot continue living in fear. I see a lot of fear in this country. A lot of fear in the courts. Just yesterday, we saw a man who shot, shot by a police officer. I, I, I want to speak my dear friends. I want to speak because uh, when you uh, try to tell me to keep silent, uh, my heart is burning. You know, it's burning because of this country. Because uh, for 60 years, we have been living like uh, we are not human beings, like we are half human beings. We are considered like children of a lesser God. Now, this cannot continue. It cannot continue in any way. We are ruled by a minority that does not care for the interests of the majority. Politicians are lies and thieves, and they have stolen our freedom, they have stolen our minds, they have stolen our land, they have stolen our future. Politicians are established in lies and failed promises. We are victims of lies and failed promises, departed hopes and blasted dreams for 60 years. I don't know what will happen. I don't know whether you're going to, say, to sentence me. I'm ready to be sentenced for a hundred years. But I'm going to keep speaking the truth until the day I, I leave this world. We cannot continue living in this. My dear friends, we must resist. Resistance is the only way for this country, for Africa. People are dying everywhere. Even in Congo, people are suffering. Now, we are continuing this panel discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you are not, not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, definitely the Finance Bill 2024, it is scandalous, it is punitive, it is oppressive. No any other better description. Therefore, it should be rejected in totality. We should not support this. And uh, we have people who are really coming out to protest and express their feelings, their ideas, their own thoughts on this finance bill. So, in all these protests, you know, center cannot hold. And if these people will not listen, one time, just one time, a revolution might occur. A revolution might just come. And this can only be possible when you have middle class joining this revolution. Of course, I know they have been touched. We are talking about people who have 50,000 salary, 100,000 salary, how they are going to, to fill the pain on their pay slip. 
It is a continuation of what they started in 2013. So they are here to continue cutting your salary. It's like you're just sharing your salary half with the government. You earn 50, you are giving about 20, 21,000 to the government. You are remaining with half. You earn 100, you suffer. And it continues like that. So we even saw the PS for uh, Treasury finding it hard to explain the, you know, in details, the, the finance bill on certain TV with the, um, uh, and it was an some get took that video is coming. They cannot even themselves explain the finance bill. They find it difficult. It is all about double taxation. So Julius Kamau was at the Treasury building to protest. He is an unhappy man with this government. No wonder he is referring to it as you know a government that is being headed by sick people. <laughs> Definitely he is telling us that Ruto and Gashagwa and the entire cabinet together with the members of parliament who normally pass this bill, they are sick. These people are liars. Of course, people have, have fed up with the lies from William Samuel Ruto, in fact, is the biggest liar ever of our times. No one has ever lied like William Ruto. No any other politician in this country has ever lied like Mwishmua William Samuel Ruto. He lies daytime, even at night he lies. You would think that he will deliver what he's promising tomorrow. They give empty promises. And there are so many. We are being led by thieves, that's what they're saying. What are they doing? They are robbing our pocket. They literally rob our pocket dry. So they kill our economy. And many people are going to suffer because businesses, businesses are going to close. You cannot afford basic needs because they are going to overtax them. Even the bread has been brought in the bracket of taxes. Remember the bread was not being taxed. They are bringing in bread to tax. And uh, it is just all about taxing and uh, taxing. And tax on top of tax, double taxation. So no one has been spared in the finance bill. Small, medium, micro enterprises are going to be overtaxed. Some have already closed down. So that's where we are. So because of frustrations, that is what they made him to protest. Said what what the the man who is talking is the one who is mad, not this government. But a government where whose own people are dying from hunger, but they does nothing about it. What can you describe such a government? These are sick people. Because if they are not sick, they would understand that we are people who are dying from hunger. They have produced something on this hunger. Reduce taxes on basic food, basic commodities like Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru brought in subsidy on unga. He subsidized the fuel. Every time you go and buy one liter of fuel during Uhuru's time, 30 shillings was being paid by the government. William Ruto, he does not care about that. And remember, when you touch on fuel, you've touched on everything. Because goods and services depend on the transport. From farm to the market. That is it. So when you overtax the fuel, then you touch on everything. Energy, you touch on everything. That is what they have done. And the Kenyans have also gave their views. I've seen in the comment section people also expressing their views as far as uh, the situation of Julius Kamau is concerned. And uh, I want to read some of the comments from Kenyans. You also drop your comment in the comment section. Uh, Festo Kimandi, the time the middle working class will rise up and tell the government enough is enough, that's when the whole of Kenya will see people ready to get the government to listen to them by all means possibly. Till then, 
si moyo yani mwendele kuona mengi of course poster yendele imeishia hapo there is this view so when the middle class join the struggle when they join the revolution when they join the protest it can succeed because they come in with their resources they come in with their skills they come in with their knowledge so it's not easy to handle when they join in Felix Musambi Maru, Marausi Bwana his lawyer Mr Ndegwa should bring pay bill for him we put something for his cash bail this one is a national hero i agree with him njoroge this man is a hero for standing up for kenyans who cannot speak up for themselves ndumu is uh, ndumu is the is they having a photo session like he has worked tirelessly to prepare a budget which Kenyans can get behind this man this must be music to ndegwa a uh, lawyer then we have another one here lusimba the energy with which the words are coming out is on another level i need this strength jura kevin jura things are boiling nicely just the way the doctor ordered uh, another one here he is calling uncle william and a truthful men mad people i say and repeat for him julius kamau and his family strength to have a straight to heaven <laughs> and sasa watasafirishwa mbinguni kwa sababu wameita Ruto those names and Gashagwa we don't pray for that Jasi I'm very happy the court gave him time and platform to air his very well founded grievances make a lot of sense I will be interested to know what kind of charge he was given Ogalo betrayal in the city by Francis Imbuga when the mad when the madness of an entire nation disrupts a solidarity mind it is not enough to say the man is mad see kwa ubaya mr francis imbuga must be a prophet would current revolution should begin inside these courts they were using shallow but abusive statement during the ruling of the presidential result the judiciary gave us this government and asked us uh, to tadu what to ovyo sana those are the views from Kenya let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you and see you in our next video